Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here I have the Hexo Plus. And I'm gonna ask the question, what would a normal person do with a drone that follows you? So taking it out of the box, you've got the drone. It's got its six propellers, and everything's kind of tucked away in the corner. The battery, the gimbal for the camera, and a quick start guide. You just have to slide the legs in, grab the power cable for the gimbal, tuck it into the bottom, attach your GoPro, and you're off to the races. All you have to do is charge up the battery, which takes about an hour. When you first sync the app to the drone, you're gonna to need to update the firmware. Be sure that you're on Wi-Fi before any of this happens. So as far as drones go, it's pretty standard. It's got six propellers that feel very serious, that if they hit me in the face, they may actually hurt me. But what's cool is on the front, we have a GoPro mount, and then this is a powered gimbal. So you can see the gimbal is actually powered by the drone itself. And on the back here, if we open this up, we have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And with the GoPro mounted, you're only gonna get about 15 minutes of fly time. The controls are actually pretty easy to use. You can just select that it follows you closely, hovers around you. There's a lot of different options. But the question that I had to ask is, what does a normal person do with the Hexo Plus? I mean, I get it that you can, you know, take it snowboarding or mountain biking or rock climbing. You can go out and do all these crazy extreme sports stuff. But what does a normal person do with it? So it's gotta be the ultimate selfie machine. Clearly, you can check out what you look like when you're walking around if you don't have a full-length mirror. So I think the most practical everyday use has to be that if you meet someone on Tinder and you wonder what they're doing after your Tinder date, you can just put your phone into their backpack and then watch what they do when they leave you. Although I do have to warn you, the drone only has a fly time of 15 minutes. Where's it going? And then your Tinder date's gonna have your phone. So maybe that's not the best use for the Hexo Plus. I mean, a drone that does follow you around is pretty much limited to people who are into extreme sports. I mean, I could videotape myself running on the beach like these girls, but I can't really see why I would want that. Although, the biggest complaint that I have to have is it has trouble connecting to the phone. The GPS positioning is a problem. Oh my God, it's gonna, it's gonna kill this small child. Now I've tried various handsets, the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, uh, which does connect after a few minutes. The Huawei Mate 8 also took me maybe 10 or 15 minutes to connect on the first try. I also gave the BlackBerry Priv a go and it was around the same. So, on Android, it seems, however, that there is a bit of a lag time. So if you check out the Hexo Plus forms, this does seem to be a common complaint. The iPhone tends to connect uh, with a fair amount of regularity, but Android seems to be a little hit and miss. So this is something that you may want to keep up to date on the forums about if you are planning on picking this up with an Android device. Having said that, that hasn't stopped me from playing around with it with my multiple Android devices. Oh. So if you are an average person and you have picked this up and you're not into extreme sports, is it narcissism? Why else would you want this? I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks.